Hello, my name is Massa. I was watching Massa's tutorial and found this strange code. This one, used in Tatsuri Masha's song called Sparkle. In this video, I'm gonna explain more about this code on piano as Massa explained it on guitar. I'll talk about first what the code is and how to use it. Second, the important tip when you learn a new sound. And third, practical example of using this code, as I actually used it in my latest song called Shoganai. Please check it out if you haven't listened to it yet. It's one of the songs I wrote based on Japanese vocabulary and philosophy. I hope you like it. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon to get notifications and leave a comment so that YouTube algorithm treats me well. Thank you for your support as always. Let's dive in. Tatsuro said he likes to play a strange chord to get listeners' attention and this is one of the strange chords he plays. This chord is a major add ninth chord with major third as a bass note. Let me explain more. Okay, so the chord Tatsuro used in his song Sparkle is E add ninth on G sharp, which is this one. But to make it simple, let me explain it in key of C major instead of E major. Okay, so from E major to C major, we just go four step below, right? So this is in E major, this is in E flat major, this is in D major, D flat major, and now we are arriving in C major. So in C major, the code is C out of nine on E. That is the code Tatsuro used in the song Sparkle, you know. So let me explain where this code comes from. If you play C major triad, you know, the most basic code, just three notes. And then add a ninth is just adding the note ninth. Okay, in key of C major, what is the note ninth? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You know, I just went up the scale. C major. And the ninth is the note D. Okay, the code C at the ninth is C major triad plus the note ninth D. So this is C R nine. It's beautiful. It's actually one of my favorite codes. Are you happy with it? Are you satisfied with the sound? No, you're so greedy. Okay, but if you want something even more unique or interesting, I'm gonna show you how to make it even more interesting. Then let's change the bass note. So C R the ninth. The bass note is C because it's C major, you know, C R the ninth. So instead of playing C as the bass note, why not use the third of the code E as the bass note? And you get this. Wow. It's a special, you know, it's it has uniqueness. I mean it sounds like sparkle in my heart, as in the lyrics of sparkle. I mean, that's why Tatsuro probably used this code in his song, Sparkle. It sounds sparkle. As Masa explained in his tutorial, you can use this C add ninth on E instead of normal C major. You know, because all of these are the same, you know, it's essentially, it's the same code, C major. So you can simply use this unique code instead of normal, boring, C major. I mean, nothing boring with C major triad. It's the basic of music, you know. So that was what the code is and how to use the code. Great. 
Second, I'd like to tell you the very important tip about learning a new sound. It's really important to connect the sound to the feelings or emotions you get when you hear the sound. Okay? And I'd like you to focus on the sound, so please close your eyes. Trust me, this works really well. Close your eyes now and do not open your eyes until I tell you to do so, okay? Great, you close your eyes, great. And because you close your eyes, you can shut out all the unnecessary information, you know, which is great. Now you have better focus. And try to seek what emotions or feelings you get when you listen to this sound. You know, try to see you know, you may see some colors in your mind. Actually, tell me, leave a comment, what image or what you see, you know, whilst you hear, hearing this sound. If you see Masa playing Pokemon, your focus is awful. You should close your eyes, you know. It's really important. You can take a deep breath, you know, breathe in. Breathe out, just focus on music. Yeah, I got Pikachu. Great. Oh, uh, do not open your eyes yet, okay? Just close your eyes, still, yeah. Okay, let me introduce you the practical example of using the code. So, in the chorus of my new song, Shogun Ai, which is the key of F major before the modulation, by the way, the code goes like this. Shogun Ai, a little sigh, there's nothing I can do. You know, the last code here, this is F of 9 on A, which is the same code that I explained, you know. And instead of this special code, I could use the simple F major, you know, or F major 7th. Which sounds cool, you know. You know, I played F major, no, F major 7th, instead of... F R ninth on A, and nothing wrong with F major seven. You know, it's cool. But then I wanted to have the sound that evokes more complicated feelings. You know, because the song is about accepting the sad or a bad situation to move on. So it's a complex uh, process. You know, it's not simple like ah that was sad. Let's move on. You know. So that's why I wanted to use this code because, uh, you know, you gotta move on, but you can't, you know, something linger on in your mind, you know. By the way, this rose piano part was written by Passerby. Please check him out from the links in the description below. So that was how to use the code in a practical situation like songwriting, you know, thinking about the message of the song that you're writing and trying to find the sound which evokes the feelings or emotions in the context of the song. And I thought this code would fit perfectly in the song and that's why I used the code, you know. Oh, by the way, now you can open your eyes. Oh, sorry, I teleported as I snapped my fingers. Where is it? I see so many beautiful bass guitars. Is it in Tokyo? Well, I actually want to get a bass guitar, so it's cool. Let's check out what they've got in my next video. If you don't want to miss it, please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon to get notifications, and please leave a comment and tell me if you liked the Tatsuya Master special code which I explained today. My name is Masa, thank you for watching as always. See you in the bass studio next weekend. Have a great week.